Dante Alighieri is a major figure as the founding father of Italian literature and an icon of medieval letters. A landmark in world literature, the Divine Comedy represents an important continuation of the epic tradition, self-consciously following in the footsteps of Homer and Virgil. Together with the English Beowulf and the German Song of the Nibelungs, Dante's work played an important role in the establishment of the vernacular languages as legitimate media for literature. His work has been inspirational for many later authors and artists in the Western tradition. Dante was born in the Republic of Florence, presumably around 1265. As a youth, he received a classical education and was familiar with the leading Roman authors of antiquity. This included works of literature, philosophy, and religion. One of the dominant motifs in his life is his unconsummated love for Beatrice Portinari. At the time, prearranged marriages were common practice, especially among wealthy and influential families. These marriages forged important social and political alliances that were of mutual benefit to the families concerned. Despite his love for Beatrice, Dante, at the tender age of 12, was promised to Gemma Donati, the daughter of an influential family. The marriage was consummated and produced a number of children, but despite this, Dante always fondly remembered Beatrice, who appears regularly in his poetry. Most important in this regard is his work on courtly love, the Vita Nuova, the new life. He fell in love with Beatrice at the age of nine by merely seeing her and without even talking to her. Even in later life, he apparently never came to know her very well. In his poetry, Dante idealizes her and uses her symbolically as a kind of personal guardian or spiritual advisor. She died in 1290, only 24 years of age. Dante's life was closely intertwined with the politics of the day, which were dominated by two factions, the Guelphs and the Ghibellines. While the former was allied with the papacy, the latter had the support of the Holy Roman Emperor. With the defeat of the Ghibellines, the Guelphs in turn divided into two parties, the White Guelphs and the Black Guelphs, with Dante's family belonging to the former. Dante fought at the Battle of Campaldino in 1289, which resulted in a Guelph victory and made them the dominant power in Florence. Dante played a first-hand role in politics, serving in a series of high-ranking political offices in the city. His party wanted Florence to enjoy a degree of autonomy from papal control. When they took power, they exiled their rivals, the Black Guelphs, thus evoking the anger of the Pope, Boniface VIII. The city of Florence sent Dante as one of the members of a diplomatic embassy to Rome. While he was there, the Black Guelphs returned and took the city of Florence, banishing all of the White Guelphs in turn. Dante was condemned to exile by the new government. After living for some time in Rome, he went to Verona, then moved to Sarzana, and then to Lucca. He wrote the Divine Comedy in Exile, and it is full of references to the complex political affairs of his hometown. Indeed, he casts many of his political opponents as characters in the work and assigns terrible punishments to them in the first part, the Inferno. He died in Ravenna in 1321, just a year after completing the epic. Although the Divine Comedy is regarded as his magnum opus, he left behind an impressive corpus of works that included other poems and a political treatise.